everybody, how are you doing today? So I just wanted to make this video and yeah, different, different setting. Oh, aren't you all excited? This is called the wall. Kidding. Anyway, so I just wanted to make this video because between the stuff that's going on on Twitter and um, the things that are going on, like what happened with Dustin Daly, I just feel it's relevant to say these, this thing that at least the way that I feel about the situation. And the truth about the drama community, drama channels, whatever, for the most part, I did touch a little bit on it in my video yesterday, but my daughter was there, so I kind of lost that track. But the drama community um, and the drama channels are really wonderful people, okay? They're there for each other. They help each other out. They help each other with, you know, um, investigating things like I think um, Dustin said in his video, thank you for... Um, T by Alley for helping him with the situation that he's go, got going on. They work hard to bring us, you know, the entertainment that we look for on YouTube. I mean, I'm mostly a commentary channel because, to be perfectly honest, I don't have the time in my life to do all this editing of videos and <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I'm not, I'm not good at it, guys. I'm just not, I don't know what software to use, how to do it, whatever. And I'll admit that hands down, you know, but when I try to do editing, I know how I got this little app on my phone or whatever, um, that I can just do minor editing on <laughs> and, but the amount of time and patience it takes for them just to produce a video. And the work that they put into it, you know, for us to view, to watch for their videos is amazing. You know, um, they work just as hard as any YouTuber here on the platform, whether they're, you know, a beauty channel, a drama channel, uh, whatever channel, because there's so many different genres on YouTube. But um, the shitty things that are going on with people, you know, videos being copyright strike or, you know, for Dustin right now, a trademark strike and you know they can't do anything to remove it and for this person to pretend girl i feel i don't feel bad i don't feel bad for that girl because what is she about to get a shit storm um first of all what boggles my mind is why in the hell would you mess with a powerhouse like jeffree star like why would you even why i mean that is insane maybe they didn't think they'd get busted, you know, like nobody would investigate it. But if you put a strike or any kind of strike, whether it be copyright or trademark strike on anybody's channel, yes, they're going to look into it. They're going to like, why this happened? What's going on? You know, it's going to be bothersome. But for, you know, um, what is it? Uh, who got, you know, teeth bill, you know, with the Manny striking her video. It's just... For people to be striking people's videos just because they don't like what's put out is bullshit. If you wouldn't have bullshit behavior, then we wouldn't have anything to say. Then the drama community wouldn't have anything to say or commentators such as myself wouldn't have anything to say. So stop being shady. Just, just don't blame the drama channel for reporting your shitty actions. You know, it's just... You got to look at the drama community like your local news. You know, everybody's interested. They do, they, they take the time, they do the research to produce content for us to enjoy. And, you know, if you look at the drama channels on their, you know, on anybody's um, comment section, people get involved in the conversation. They have opinions. They have things that they like to say. And... I just think it's really shitty, you know, to sit there and try to strike people's channel to get them taken down because you know what? There are people that enjoy those channels. There are people that enjoy those people. And for this, you know, girl or whatever to do this to Dustin is just ridiculous. If you don't like them, girl, don't watch. You know, that's what you do. Like, I loathe John Cookie and do I watch his channel? No. Unless he does something really, really stupid and I go there just for my own personal to, to have an opinion on it or to make content on it then yeah i will watch a video but other than that no 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 no. i don't watch it am i going to sit there and try everything i can to strike his channel because i don't like him well of course not if you don't like somebody move on there's no reason why you have to be stuck there to stay and and, and try to maliciously do things to this person because you don't like them or their content and the thing is is 
when you, it's like, do you know him personally? Like, are you his best friend? Did he piss you off? Well, no, you don't know these people personally. You don't know them. It's like, you know, we're going to sit down and have coffee and tea time. You just don't like them just for maybe something that they put in their content. There's no reason for somebody to be that immature and that vindictive to go after somebody and to do false things and even go as far to do, you know, forging a huge ass influencers. I mean, girl, you picked the wrong one. You would have been smarter maybe to go for Manny or something, but that was dumb. <laughs> I'm just saying, woo, girl. But, um... I just think it's disgusting, but the drama community is, at least, you know, from my perspective, and I'm an outside looking in, is that they're wonderful people. They work with each other. They're there for each other. They talk with each other. They're, they're people. They're humans. And you know what? I think they're good people. I really do. Mango tea, that's another story. That's why I say there are some, you know, drama investigator, mm -mm. mango tea, mm -mm. you know, uh cooking you know just all those people it's just like a nah but there are so many good ones out there you know i would try to say them all but you got nick snyder you got beauty with ashley you got you know t by l you got l loves t you got ashley kyle you got dustin daly you got rich lux you got petty page you got martin lewis i'm sure i'm missing somebody but you are all fantastic and amazing and i thank them for you know their content because sometimes when i'm having a shitty day it's nice to go and watch you know youtube it, it, it's nice to watch people's videos just to take a moment away from your shitty day or just just to get it's like a little escape you know just to know you know something else other than like your actual life going on it, it's nice to you know go and revert to something else and just take a minute away from your life to maybe put a smile on your face and their editing skills are so phenomenal so the work that they put into those videos to bring us the tea is amazing you know it's just something that they work really hard to do and i think they deserve the respect that you know that they take the time out of their lives and their days to bring us entertainment that's the tea about the drama community there's no you know other thing that I can really say there's no other way that I can really put it to say that's the true tea. They're great people. They bring us amazing content that we like, that we enjoy, that we comment on. I especially love my channel. I mean, even though that I'm mostly, you know, I'm commentary, but I love to interact with the subscribers. I love to see their opinions. I love to see what they have to say and just to be a part of something. I absolutely adore. Hold on. Sorry. So anyway, it is something that I absolutely adore. And actually, the drama community gets along a lot better than the beauty community, just to be honest. So I do want to mention something from my video yesterday. <laughs> Y'all clocked me pretty good on it, but I said, you know, who washes their Morphe brushes like for the first time, you know, or you just got them. Now, when I wash my brushes, I, I have like a, a spray or whatever that I use. Like I don't do a, like a hardcore wash. When I first get new brushes, I got like one of those sprays that helps, you know, it's like an antibacterial spray or whatever. That's kind of what I do with my brushes. I don't do like a hard full core wash. So that's why I made that comment. Everyone's like, you, well, I wash my brushes. <laughs> I get it. I do, but I wash them, but it's like a mild wash. I do like a little, you know, that's just the way that I do it, but that's okay. Uh, because I'm just like, how the hell did your Morphe brushes get that much of a mess after one wash? <laughs> but maybe now but it is good that people put it out there so that if they pay the $50 for um Jeffree Star's brushes they can maybe wash them in a different manner so they don't have that happen to them because it is sad to pay $50 and have your brushes ruined after one wash I would be pissed myself but I just you know when I first initially wash my brushes I do it like maybe a little differently so that's why I was confused so thank you for everyone that clocked me on it I don't mind being clocked you guys know I don't mind at all you can school me I'm good with that I absolutely have no problem but anyway in closing YouTube needs to make these situations right they need to change their system they need to have repercussions for people that falsely copyright strike channels or falsely, you know, um, trademark strike somebody's channels. Something needs to be done that this shit stops because apparently it's becoming a trend. So they need to make 
either them have a fine for falsely accusing somebody. I think they should get a strike on their ch channel and have a fine because that would be just because you're, you know, the fine is to unnecessarily put somebody through a bunch of shit that you shouldn't put them through. Um, so I think they should be fined and they should get a strike against their channel. That, in my opinion, would be fair. So YouTube needs to step up their game and start, you know, revamping their system a little bit like they did with the whole Logan Paul shit, you know, how people had to work extra hard to get their channel monetized and things like that. I think they need to step up their game with this also and they need to change some of their policies so people think twice before they hit that, you know, that copyright button before they you know, file a false claim against somebody and people take it a lot more seriously and then just, you know, like, I'm going to do this just to bother you. So I really hope you guys have a wonderful night and kisses and always, as always, and thank you so much for watching my channel.